you can see all the signs of aggression. Those big bubbles of water, the poof of the nose, the flapping of the ears. There's babies here, there's mums. All the things you don't want. Is someone going to tell him to turn? This is crazy. I'm too close! This is definitely one of the dumber things I've ever done in my day. While I'm curious to see what killed this hippo, I'm taking this walk very seriously. Carl warned me to stay out of shallow water. Crocs can lie hidden for more than two hours in the mud, just below the surface. There's a croc right there. Now, I have no idea what is smart protocol and what is dumb protocol around a carcass surrounded by crocodiles. But I can tell you, depth of water is one thing I'm paying attention to. And I don't want to step on a crocodile. I just saw two crocs go down when I came up on this hippo. Looking at this guy, there's lots of marks around his neck and shoulder. There's a huge gouge in the front right shoulder of this hippo that looks to me like one of those bottom tusks. I'm guessing that this is a hippo kill. I'm nervous of crocs in this water. I mean, you just can't see them, and what you can't see, you can't read. It makes it even that more difficult. I think if I stay with this guy long enough, I want to see some croc behavior happening here. They keep their crocs in unusually clear water, and this is my chance to get closer than anyone would ever want to with the crocs in their own territory. And it's a chance for me to really feel their power. Concentrating on my little game, I didn't notice the other croc sneaking up on me until I felt him trying to take a chunk of my elbow. <laughs> hey, have a look at these claws. Have a look. I mean, I'm, I'm not a small guy at all, but have a look. There. I mean, those are as big as my fingers. His bicep is that big, bigger than my head. I'm six foot three, 215 pounds. So, I mean, I thought I was at least. A good sized human being, and he is huge. If you're looking at those teeth as tools for this grizzly bear, he's obviously going to use them as he's getting food for like an elk carcass. Have a look at that. If he is attacking a human being, this is a attack situation, those things are going to put holes three, four inches deep into flesh. Oh, here comes his buddy. It's another well-known alpha male, Frodo's brother, Freud. And he was the alpha chimpanzee of this community before Frodo took over. And you can see these guys are big. Frodo, when he was born, was always called the bully. He was always throwing his weight around. And eventually, he overtook old Freud here. Sitting with this guy, you know, he had the same life as Frodo. Lived in the same forest, same mother. What makes Frodo a killer and Freud not? Okay. Oh, yeah, you got me good there. Okay. Oh, hey, look at them all. Oh, my goodness, they're everywhere. Can't wait till one grabs a hold of your head. Wow. This guy's huge. Right next to you, Dave. <laughs> you alright? That jerk bit me right in the face. When you're down here, although it seems natural to scunt, it is not the place you should be with a predator that is this good. They're fast and they're capable. And I can tell you what, without all this safety here, I would not be going to the top tonight.